Welcome to Immigrations and Jobs Talk Show. Donald Trump's promises to carry out the largest mass deportation effort in U.S. history are raising alarm bells both politically and economically. While his hardline immigration stance was a central part of his campaign, the potential consequences of such a massive operation could have far-reaching effects on the American economy. Let's take a closer look at what mass deportation might mean for jobs, wages, and inflation in the U.S. Trump's plan to deport millions of undocumented immigrants has always been a bold one. During the campaign, he suggested targeting between 15 to 20 million people, with Vice President-elect J.D. Vance even stating that the effort would start with 1 million individuals, beginning with the most violent criminals. But while these numbers may sound like tough action on illegal immigration, the reality of executing such a massive operation would be much more complex and costly. According to experts, the economic fallout from such an initiative could be severe. Economists are sounding the alarm about the potential damage this mass deportation could do to the U.S. economy. Adam Posen, president of the Peterson Institute for International Economics, argues that the economic impact of removing millions of workers would be far more significant than people realize. He believes that mass deportations would not only hurt U.S. workers, but could also lead to slower economic growth, inflation, and even higher budget deficits. Michael Clemens, an economist at George Mason University, expands on this idea. He suggests that removing such a large portion of the workforce would have a range of negative effects, including reduced employment opportunities for U.S. workers and a sharp rise in inflation. Clemens points out that the economic costs could ultimately lead to higher taxes for Americans to cover the increased budget deficits. Simply put, the costs of deportation might outweigh any benefits that some politicians are hoping for. Now, it's important to understand that the labor market is not so simple. Trump has said that Americans will step in to fill the jobs that undocumented immigrants currently hold. But, as some experts point out, this assumption doesn't align with the reality of the job market. Historically, many of the jobs filled by undocumented workers are in industries like agriculture, construction, and hospitality sectors, where wages are low and working conditions are tough. It's unlikely that U.S.-born workers, particularly those with higher education, would jump at these jobs at those wages. In fact, past attempts at mass deportations have shown that removing undocumented workers actually hurts employment for American workers. A study looking at the Obama administration's Secure Communities program, which expelled over 400,000 undocumented immigrants found that it led to labor shortages in certain sectors. This meant that businesses had to offer higher wages to attract workers, driving up production costs. In the end, the higher labor costs led to a ripple effect, causing demand for U.S.-born workers to decline. One of the biggest myths in the immigration debate is the idea that removing undocumented workers will lead to U.S. workers filling those same jobs. Michael Clemens, a leading economist in this field, argues that this simply isn't true. In fact, the competition for jobs is often between U.S.-born workers and other U.S.-born workers, especially in lower-wage sectors. When undocumented immigrants are removed, businesses face labor shortages, which only drives up costs for consumers and leads to higher inflation. But Trump and his supporters are doubling down on their claim that U.S. businesses have become too reliant on immigrant labor. Vice President-elect Vance argues that America's businesses should be providing jobs for U.S. workers, instead of importing millions of illegal laborers. He claims that the influx of undocumented immigrants has discouraged many Americans from joining the workforce. However, as history has shown, mass deportations don't necessarily lead to better job outcomes for American citizens. The truth is that the economic consequences of mass deportation are complicated. While Trump may view this as a necessary step to address illegal immigration, experts warn that the financial impact could be disastrous. It's not just about removing undocumented immigrants, it's about understanding how this could affect businesses, wages, and inflation in the long run. What are your thoughts on Trump's deportation plan? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to today's discussion. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Immigrations and Jobs Talk Show.